and subscribe to Halfling Hobbies so that I can go and buy some more. I am talking about the speak with plants spell because the idea of giving plants personality and making them engaging and fun to talk with is absolutely just difficult. It's just difficult. So first of all, I want to read you the spell. You imbue plants within 30 feet of you with limited sentience and animation, giving them the ability to communicate with you and follow your simple commands. You can question plants about events in the spell's area within the past day, gaining information about the creatures that have passed, weather, and other circumstances. You can also turn difficult terrain caused by plant growth, such as thickets, undergrowth, into ordinary terrain that lasts for the duration. Or you can turn ordinary terrain where the plants are present into difficult terrain that lasts for the duration, causing vines and branches to hinder pursuers, for example. Plants might be able to perform other tasks on your behalf at the DM's discretion. The spell doesn't imbue plants to uproot themselves and move about, but they can freely move branches and tendrils and stalks. If the plant creature is in the area, you can communicate with it as if you shared a common language language, but you gain no magical ability to influence it. This spell can cause the plants created by the Entangle spell to release a restrained creature. Whew! That is quite a spell description and much more than simply damage and effect area. So let's break this down. First of all, this spell only affects a 30-foot area. So all of the plants technically within this 30 foot area would be given this sentience um, and this ability to move about, which is kind of horrifying when you think about it. And as a matter of fact, real quick, I want to introduce a new part of Halfling Hobby videos, and that is the what the flip D&D &D corner. <laughs> so let's head over there. Welcome to the What the Flip D&D Corner, where we talk about things that are super odd in D&D. And today's topic is going to be the Speak with Plants spell, in which it imbues plants with limited sentience. It literally says that the spell gives the plants within 30 feet sentience, limited consciousness, basically. And for the first time in their entire little plant lives, they are aware of of themselves and their surroundings and their place in the world. And my question is, what is that like? What does that feel like to suddenly wake up and like be conscious of everything and the fact that you're a plant and that at any moment a deer might come by and just eat you? And like, that's terrifying in a lot of ways. And how would the plant react to it? Where does this consciousness come from? It says you imbue it. Does that mean that you create a new consciousness only for a limited amount of time? Or do you take from something uh, around the plant? Is it a forest spirit that you put into the plant? Or is it a wandering soul that you use to give it uh, limited consciousness? And that in itself is kind of freaky. And then what happens when when the spell wears off, it's only for the duration. Is it like flowers for Algernon, where you feel the consciousness draining away and like you lose that, which is horrifying. And honestly, this is a messed up spell. If you use this spell, you should feel bad. Because this is, this is horrible when you think about it. What the flip, D&D? What the flip? I did, however, write a little song for what I feel like um, it might be like to wake up as a plant uh, and to gain consciousness for the very first time. Ah, uh, so yeah, here's, here's what I feel like it might look like. Ah! Well, 
now that we've gotten that out of the way, <laughs> let's talk about the rest of this spell and what you as the DM need to know when your player cast Speak With Plants, other than the fact that it is absolutely terrifying. Um, and you need to kind of come up with where that consciousness is coming from, how different plants maybe react to that. You could have a weep weeping willow that literally just starts crying. Um, you could have dandelions that are super excited and, and vibrant about life and everything's wonderful. Uh, leave it up to you. You can give each kind of plant its own characteristics. Perhaps if it's a poisonous plant, they're kind of a little bit sassy. Um, or a sassafras tree. Oh. The next thing you need to know about this spell though, it does turn difficult terrain into normal terrain within a 30 foot area. However, the spell is not centered on the druid. So it's not like as long as they are uh, moving, it's 30 feet around them. It's literally 30 feet in a given area. They have to pick the area. But if there is a lot of difficult terrain, such as a jungle, they cannot simply clear a path. It's not a cantrip. It is a third level transmutation spell meaning that they're gonna have to really want this to happen in order to make it happen. You don't get that many third level spells. They can also make normal terrain difficult terrain using plants. Uh, and they can also negate the entangled spell by using speak with plants to make the terrain normal again. This is very useful in some situations, especially if they're being pursued or if someone is trying to use nature against them. However, it is limited in what it can do because it is in a fixed area. So make sure that you keep that in mind. This is a beefy spell that has multiple points to it, which is why the spell description is so long. So now let's talk about the limited mobility. Plants cannot uproot themselves. However, it does say that it can they can freely move their branches or vines meaning they can use their branches, vines, and different things to perhaps do something that the player asked it to do. However, the very last part of the spell is super important for DMs because, yes, they can communicate with the plants and they can talk to them, but they do not gain magical influence over them, meaning the plants may not be willing to do what the player wants them to do. They will have to roll a persuasion check. They will have to... Um, do something to make the plants willing to help them. And this is really important because I think sometimes uh, we just use it as a, yeah, they, they tell you everything that's gone on in this area over the one day. Also important, one day, not a lifetime, not years, one day. Um, we just tell our players everything that's happened in that day. But what if the plant doesn't want to talk to the players? What if they're a little sassy sassafras and they, they don't want to have any communication with the players? Um, it, you know, you, they might have to go to several plants within this 30 foot area and it might make for a hilarious uh, combination of conversations of all of these different plants with all of their different new consciousness talking to the druid. It also doesn't say that the plants can't lie. So if you have any blighted plants or any um, plants that you just want to be more negative or even evil, because why can't a plant be evil? I'm sorry, but some plants are evil. Poison ivy, evil. So have fun with this, make it a whole thing. If your druids want to talk to plants, it should be an experience and a trip. And um, feel free to use that song that I wrote for the plants if you, want, <laughs> if you want to. I don't know why you would want to. All that being said, um, Speak With Plants is an interesting spell. I think it does way more than uh, what we give it credit for and more than what our players think because I doubt many of them have read all of the different parts of that spell. It's one of the longest ones. And honestly, it can be very interesting around the table. So stick around, we'll talk about some more spells that DMs uh, need to know about in upcoming videos. And until next time, my friends, may your game have advantage. Kathleen Anna here, signing out. Big shout out to all of my patrons, but especially to these producers for these YouTube videos. You guys are amazing, and I am so incredibly grateful to you for you. You guys are amazing, and I'm so incredibly grateful for you. I hope that you have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.